Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, I had gotten this sweet new set of armor that I'm running around in right now. It's real cool. And uh, we are on Korriban now, after, uh, well, you know, all the events of the last two episodes. Um... The last episode, I went back to the Yavin 4 space station, which is where I got this armor. And now I'm on Korriban to continue the initial quest that we were on the entire goddamn time. And I'm also doing some side character stuff involved there. But for right now, we move on. And... Oh, that is the wrong answer. Again. You pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Please, Master Shardan, give us a chance. We'll do anything to get into the academy. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh. Of course, oh. Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. Um. Oh, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Oh, boy. Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! The, thank you, Shardan. We, we, are, we understand now. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get into the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and doing I mean, true, so. but... Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or forced lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. Jesus, Horatio Christ, what is wrong with you? Bruh! You can't just kill them. Please help us! Silence! Of course I can kill them. The Sith can do whatever they like on Korriban, and frankly, these worms rather deserve it. That's for you to decide, however. How about... How about you let them go? That's my decision. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? Um... You want to let them go. Do you really think my mind is that weak? I'm practically insulted. Now, instead of trying the easy way out, give me a real answer. Okay, now that's fair. Because I'm Darth Revan and I'm telling you to let them go. Ah. Now that has to be the funniest thing I've heard all day. Well, fine. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are, since you've proven such a good sport, the boys can run off. I'm sure your little lesson will give them something to chew on. <sighs> well, I mean, it worked. And I got lifestyle points, so there's that. But, uh, didn't necessarily appreciate getting laughed at. It was a little mean. But anyway, moving on. Hmm. Mm hmm. Alrighty. So, we're now essentially going into a Sith Academy to try and infiltrate it, I guess. That's what we're doing. Greetings. Say, aren't you the one who won that swoop race on Manan? I'm a big fan. I hope we can find something suited to a celebrity like you. Is there anything you'd like? What sort of merchandise do you got? Weapons, mostly. I've got connections. You'll need them if you're going to be spending any time here. Why so? There are a lot of Sith on this planet. This is where they come to study. Obnoxious brats, a lot of them. Just between you and me, I'll never understand why everyone thinks Dark Side and Hooligan should be the same thing. 
but they are definitely dangerous. So that's why you'll probably need weapons. <laughs> Not that they'll help much. I mean, they could help. I am Revan, after all. <laughs> what connections do you have? Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by, needing to get rid of some extras that they can't sell in the civilized systems. They treat me well, I treat them well. It works out. So, if you need weapons, and you probably will, this is the place to come. Okay, can I see your merchandise then? Certainly. Allow me to punch up the stock. Wow. Krath Warblades. Cassis Fett's Heavy Pistol. And it's upgradable? Holy fuck! I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode. <laughs> fuck it, I don't care. Ah. Uh, Cassis Fett was rarely seen without this adaptable blaster. Famous for killing the captain of a flagship Republic frigate at the Battle of Jagas Cluster, he is presumed dead. And it only costs 10,000 credits. That's actually not too bad. Uh, it has stun, chance, attack modifier, and that's before I even put upgrades on it. Wow. Damn. Okay. That's cool. I'll keep that in mind. I want to look through all the other stuff first. And most of everything else is rather normal stock. Really, the only thing that's cool on this list is the heavy pistol. question is, who do I give that to? Hmm. Huh. The Bothan Shrieker. It's a sonic weapon. Okay. This is an improvement over the standard sonic pistol design that must seem doubly shrill to the large ears of the Bothans. <laughs> well, that's probably true. Huh. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep in mind that that's there. And if I decide I need it, I will go for it. But I don't really think I do. Karth pretty much has all the guns I need him to have. So does Mission, now that I think about it. Everyone else is really melee. And they all have the weapons I want them to. Okay, anyway. A freighter crewman. Look the here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. I'm they not fallen, though. No. The and they think they're better than the rest of us. We are, but that's, that's not the we point. <laughs> some punks to come steal our lunch credits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. Uh -huh. And we are Sith. Right. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> 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 Good joke. Good joke. Good fucking joke. I think that's a lot of responsibility for simple scum like you. How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Well, I could go this route. <laughs> I, could do, I could do the persuasion one. I want to do the persuasion one. Uh, okay, these two Mandalorians are out in the woods. Go on. One of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing, and his eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator and contacts his commander. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! He gasps. My partner has collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, the commander responds, Calm down, I can help. And then? First, let's make sure your partner is dead. There is a silence, and then a blaster shot is heard. Back on the communicator, the Mandalorian says, Okay, now what? Kid, maybe you should try juggling next time. Shut up! <laughs> too that was good! <laughs> good one! Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. Thank you! All right then, my friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet again. See, that worked! Shut up, Karth! You don't know nothing. About anything. 
See? That worked beautifully. Although, to be fair, that is a variation of a uh, joke in actual reality. But it works for the Star Wars universe, and that's why I'm impressed with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anywho, I just realized my... Uh, hmm, I really need to upgrade what I got on my, my lightsabers. But that will be later, I think. Why did you just suddenly teleport behind me, Garth? What the hell? All right, anyway. A Zerka representative, huh? And then another citizen. Can't interact with this computer. Zerka guard. Probably making sure I don't steal any of this stuff. Okay, well, makes sense. Let's talk to the... Wait, what? Citizen and then prospective Sith. That was what I read. Okay, I thought I read something else entirely. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idium, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Good. Oh, what can you do? Good. Sorry, was there something you needed? I was the one who helped with that. I really wish I had brought... I really wish I had brought... Uh, Zalbar with me on that one because then he would have had something to say about that i'll be going actually in. i will try and do that uh let's see if i can oh come on <laughs> oh, okay hmm. aren't you the human who won the swoop race on manan congratulations and well done it was most exciting to watch oh okay it's an honor go. to have you in our offices how may zerka serve you i Guess, thank you? What does Zerka do on Korriban? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Okay. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. So, for general supplies, that's you. For weapons, that's a guy out front. Gotcha. Okay. Zerko works with the Sith. I think we all knew that. Uh, can I ask you some questions about the colony? Certainly. What can you tell me about the colony? There truly isn't much to tell, citizen. Dresh Day was established by the Sith, and we arrived to take advantage of some of the planet's mineral wealth. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's really unusual about Dresh Day... I suppose, is that the Sith built their academy on the east side of the colony. You don't find those just anywhere. What do you know about the Sith Academy? Not much. The Sith are a rather secretive lot. Of course. And they don't allow many into the academy. Of course. I hear they claim that Korriban was inhabited long ago by other Sith. It was. But no one really knows if that's true. Everyone does. The planet is certainly You're an idiot. inhabited outside of Dresh Day, and always has been. You're wrong. You're stupid. You're a dumb, dumb, dumb... Fuck. Dumbass. Uh, who is allowed in the academy? Only prospective students. We get many who come here each year hoping to get picked. Many are simply considered too weak, I'm afraid. Of I understand there is one main person amongst the Sith who decides which students are worthy. Euthura Ban, I believe her name Euthura is. Euthura Ban. Where do I find this Euthura? Other than in the academy itself, I'm sorry, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I'll be going then. Come again. Journal entry. I guess I gotta talk to this Yathura I band. I suppose you've heard about the destruction of Taurus, yes? Yeah. Awful business, that. Zerka uh -huh. lost a fortune there. Not that the Sith care. Of course not. Also, why are you just complaining about the loss of the fortune there when, you know, millions upon billions of people died? Well, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. They're a corporation. They don't care about human lives. They just care about profits. Uh, some things never change. All right. Anyway, can I see what you have on offer? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. Sounds good to me. Ooh, hello. A hell of a lot of life support packs I shall be taking. Uh, Exar Coon's Light Battle Suit. Oh, boy. Attributed to Exar Coon, this 
armor may well have been worn by the Dark Lord prior to his defeat 40 years ago. He was rarely without considerable yet flexible personal armor. And who can blame him for that? Uh, defense bonus of 9 and a max dexterity bonus of plus 3. That is pretty flexible. Although I think my current armor is considerably better. Currently. Reinforced fiber armor. Fair enough. Inspired by craftsmen on worlds where metal is in short supply, this type of light armor consists of Jungju tree fibers bound with synthetics, offering good, flexible protection. I mean, hey, if it works. Sinekar war suit, Ichani light armor, military suit, heavy combat suit, all of this is pretty standard fare after that. Until we get to the craft stuff, Krath Holy Battle Suit. Many Krath sought to be guards of the dark temples in armor of this type. Cynics dismissed this fervor, noting that guard duty was safer than participating in military slave raids. Ugh. But it does have a significant amount of resistance to a lot of things. Pretty high defense. And then Krath Heavy Armor, which is essentially... Same thing as holy battle suit armor, but doesn't have the resistances. Typical of the old craft military elite, these suits were worn during slave raids on neighboring systems. Slaving is profitable but risky, so little cost is spared in equipment. Right. Powered battle armor, which is heavy and adds to strength, which I already have a suit that does that without being heavy. The microhydraulics of this armor provide the operator with both protection and strength enhancement. It is a rare it is rare outside of professional mercenaries and soldiers. And then heavy battle armor here with just pure defense bonus and nothing else going for it. It is basically worthless compared to the power battle armor here. And then normal battle armor here which isn't heavy. Lacks the defense bonus uh, numbers of the heavy, but only by one, and allows for at least some dexterity. The light battle armor... Yeah, same shit. Heavy targeting optics. Interesting. Blaster rifle, heavy weapons, blaster rifle, heavy weapons. Goes f to have the focus and specialization for both. These advanced optics and targeting system, worn as a mask, attaches to a held weapon, in this case rifles and heavy weapons, and provides targeting information, distances, and tracking of potential targets within line of sight. Interesting. Verpine Ocular Enhancer. Interesting. The Verpine only manufacture this project for export, having no need of it themselves. They have highly evolved sight, a quality that they smugly say the visors mimic but do not exceed. Bond gauntlets. Furpine bond gauntlets that enhance demolitions by a lot. That's plus six. Holy shit. All right. Um, area do stealth unit, which is better than the advanced stealth unit, and which is also better than the sound dampening stealth unit. And it's just outright better than the Stealth Field Generator. Sith Regenerator. It's an implant level 3 that adds two regeneration points. Wowzers. Extensively used by Sith Intelligence operatives, this implant stimulates self-replication. I almost didn't want to say that word for some reason. In the user's body, allowing wounds to be healed quickly and easily. It is most frequently used on operatives b operating behind enemy lines for extended periods where medical treatment is not normally available. Okay, well then... Oh. I was going to say, why don't they equip everyone with it? I just looked at the cost. It's 8,500 credits. No wonder! Alright. Okay. Well, they do have some interesting stuff here. Uh, specifically the headgear is what I'm most interested in here. Oh, the Verpine Ocular Enhancer isn't that expensive. 
It might be worth it. Huh. Okay. Other than that, there's not much here that I'm particularly wanting. So I'll just go for now. Actually, now I think about it. I get skills awareness out of this one, so I don't necessarily need it. Neural band. This is this just saves for will. Advanced oral amplifier. This raises awareness. Okay. Um. Let's equip. Hmm. Let's equip Karth with this Gino Haradan visor that I completely forgot that I had. There we go. That's good. Oh, it doesn't look like... Okay, it does look kind of goofy on him, but not that bad, considering. Your wish? Yes. Uh, I wish you to follow me, so let's go! Okay, who are you? Lurz Kesh. Lurze Kesh, I'm assuming. That's how we pronounce it. Okay. Lurze Kesh. You there, human. You are the one flying the Ebon Hawk now. I saw you disembarking earlier. Yes, the Ebon Hawk is my ship. Is that so? Well, you can tell Davik that my people are spitting plasma over this. We've been waiting for the shipment for a month now. I suppose we should be grateful that the shipment survived Taurus at all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Hand over what? What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Don't you work for Davik? Just how is it you happen to be flying the Ebon Hawk, anyway? Davik's dead, I presume. I stole the Ebon Hawk from him. Well, when a planet explodes, you've got to expect a few changes. Davik's dead, hey? Maybe you can still help me with something. We had arranged for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here aboard the Ebon Hawk. Perhaps Davik left it on board? I suspect if it is, it would be in the container we gave him. Locked and requiring a code. Might you have seen such a thing, human? Uh, I could... Take a look for it. Excellent. Set the code on the container to red 47. When you get the spice, bring it to me here. I'll wait for you. Okay, guess we go back to the ship. For this barrel of spice that allegedly this guy was going to get from Davik. And then I will see what we get for it, I guess? Ah. Oh. Apparently it landed cockeyed. Because it's not an easy walk into the ship. Okay, so that would be in the cargo hold. That is not the cargo hold. Alright, uh, that is not the cargo hold. That is a hyperdrive. There is the cargo hold. Metal box. No. Did I ever go into these? I guess I have at some point. Okay. Metal box. Nope. Compartment. The secret compartment is still locked. Red 47. The hidden compartment is now unlocked. And we get spice. Okay, we had it. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wasn't that compartment a little bit ago holding a kid in it that one child that was kidnapped by the Mandalorians wasn't the kid hiding in that thing a while back huh unless it's there's multiple compartments in that section and the kid was hiding in just one of them Okay, well, anyway, I'm not going to question it any further because I don't think I'm going to get an answer. Anywho, away we go. Back out again. Take Karth again, I guess. Um, 
Might as well take Jolie with us again. Okay, go around again. Okay, no other shenanigans on the planet. That's fine, I guess. Wait, whose side quests have I not finished yet? Now I want to know. Jolie, Candorus, Jihani, Bastila, and finding Dustil for Karth. It seems to be about it. Okay. So I'm trying to finish everyone else's side quests before we move on. So Karth kind of, unfortunately, has to be with us for most of it. Okay, Cash. There you are. Do you have the spice human? Um, I've decided I don't want to get involved in this. That is unfortunate. The people I represent will be displeased. They've already lost their interests on Taurus, after all. But it is your choice, human. Pray that no one takes your refusal personally. I will... I was thinking about giving it to him, but then I was like, this will probably get me dark side points, and I don't want that. So, let's not do that. Unless it doesn't. <laughs> Unless it doesn't, and it gets me money instead... Hmm. Interesting thought. Interesting thought. I'll look into it. <laughs> I'll look into it only in regards to this. That's all. all right. Anyway, we move on. It's a pilot and Mika Doran. Greetings, Sentient. You are the owner of the Ebon Hawk, yes? Or its latest owner, at least. I am honored to meet you. I am Mika Doran, manager of this establishment. Is there something you are needing, Sentient? The owner of the Ebon Hawk is always welcome in Dress Day Cantina. Huh. Zygrom says you spell... You spell... <laughs> You sell special items. I was trying to combine special and sell, I guess. I don't know. You sell special items. Yes, to the right buyer. Traditionally, the owner of the Ebon Hawk has been the contact for all my transactions. But in the past, the owner was always, a, always affiliated with the exchange. That was why Zyagram did not approach you earlier. We had no idea who you were, or if we wanted to do business with you. Of course, that has all changed now, Lord Revan. Um, I'm not Revan anymore. I, not who you think I am. No? Zyagram's information is never wrong. Are you saying that you don't want revenge on your former apprentice? Are you saying you don't plan to kill Malik? I mean, I will stop Malik in a Sith, but not for revenge. In truth, your reasons mattered little to me or my partner. But we do believe in your power. We believe you will bring Malik down. And we want to help you in our own small fashion. Your motives seem very self-serving. Of course. How else are we here to survive? Now, do you wish to see the premium items I have for sale? Or is there something else you need? Do you know a lot about the Ebon Hawk and its previous owners? I know very little about the owners of the Ebon Hawk. Most were affiliated with the Exchange, and they only revealed enough to enable us to do business with them. But the ship itself is very well known, especially here on Korriban. Some say it is the finest smuggling vessel in this sector. Others say it is a cursed vessel, bringing doom to all its owners. Cursed? What do you mean? None deny the Hawk is a fine vessel with a long history of successful smuggling runs to its credit, but the owners have not fared nearly as well as the ship itself. Take Davik Kang. He was the last owner I know of before you. His home world was the planet Taurus, a world the Sith utterly destroyed. You would call that a fortunate occurrence. And even if Taurus hadn't been destroyed, would Davik still be around? It seems doubtful he sold the ship to you, and I know Davik didn't buy it from the previous owner. These events have more to do with the type of owner than the hawk itself. Yes, I suppose a Sith Lord has little time for curses. You are probably far beyond such things. In any case, I meant no offense. I'm only telling you what I know of the hawk's reputation. Is there anything else you are needing from me? 
Anything interesting going on here? Since Malik stole the order from you, the Academy here on Korriban has become all but impossible to deal with. The Sith there take care for nothing but their own plots and schemes. I hope that once you destroy your old apprentice, things will return to the way they were before. The Sith and the Exchange should work together. It could benefit both sides. What do you know about the Sith Academy? The Sith built their academy here to train students. Many go to train there, though I know not why. Most are not permitted to train, and many die in their attempt to be admitted. Many of their students, and sometimes the Sith themselves, come to my cantina. Look around and you will see them. I have little choice as to their presence. Uh, fair enough. Do you know? Okay, I already know about all that. I don't want to ask about the star map. That might give people a little too much ideas. Let's see your premium items. Yes, of course. I'm sure you'll find my selection to be very interesting. Well, more life support packs, but they cost more than where I last bought them from. Well, that sucks. Um, Dominator gloves. Hello. Plus five. A working prototype of a huge technological advancement in power gauntlets. The Dominators give the user unparalleled strength and power. I can't afford it, but that is something. Is that stronger than my current gloves that I got from the Gino Haradin? Maybe. I, I don't remember. I'll have to check. Verpine prototype shields. Wow, those things are strong. Adrenaline stimulator. Oh, saves all plus four and dexterity plus two. Okay. Cardio power system adds four. Four to Constitution. Holy crap. Gordulin Re Reaction System. Adds to Dexterity. Plus four. Narvadin, Navardin, rather. Regenerator. Instead of the Sith Regenerator. Does the same thing, though. It's Regeneration plus two. Armor Reinforcement. Mesh Underlay. Improved Energy Cell Scope. Pizak Cards. Beam Slitter. Beam Splitter, rather. <laughs> Vibration cell, energy projector, hair trigger. Okay, so upgrades that I don't currently have. Okay, well, I might as well buy them just so I have them on my person for when I need them. Just in case I, you know, need to upgrade something with something. Huh. And this is more expensive than the Sith one. And again, this guy charges a lot for even simple life support packs. Alright, fair enough. Okay. Getting stuck on things. Toll Apcar. I'm assuming you play Pazak. I knew it. Are you willing to engage in a hand of Pazak? I'm afraid there are a few takers on Korriban. It wouldn't it would be good to have a little fun for once. Uh, nah, I'm sorry. Bye. Come back anytime, Sentient. I'm always willing to play. Although I do have a deck now, don't I? I picked up a deck a while ago. I think. Hmm. I want to say I did. Uh, since this is all... There it is. Pazak side deck. And a full Pazak deck. Okay. I knew it. I knew I had it. It's not usable or equipable item. I just wanted to see if I... <clears throat> could do something with it. Alright. Perspective Sith. Exit from Dresh Day. Okay. M moving on. Okay. Protocol droid. Can I talk to you about things and stuff? I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Okay. Well then, fuck you too. I'll just take this computer spike and I can't take anything from this. Okay, bye. Perspective. Sith students. Huh. And Meckle. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? 
Are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. How about fuck you? I want to ask questions. No, you may not. How about fuck you? I'm busy amusing myself, and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. Okay. Amusing yourself with what? I have to stand at attention. Please, don't distract me, whoever you are. Why are you... What are you doing? I'm trying to prove my worth to enter the Sith Academy here. We were told that if we stood here long enough, we would be worthy. We've been here for so many days. I'm so hungry. Some... Some of us have died. But I must be strong. I must. I will keep standing. Who put you up to this? Mekel. He, he's the Sith. The one watching us from over there. He, he... He said it was how we would prove our worth. I must be strong. Mechel will find me worthy. Soon, I hope. No, oh, he's just trying to kill y'all. Jesus. You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do, I will be there, laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Mekel's beatings. Okay. You'll get your... Okay, all right. I didn't mean to talk to you. Please, just talk to you. Don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. I wasn't planning on it. Oh my god, these are the guys who are already dead. What the fuck is wrong with you, is dude? Something specific you wanted. Yeah, you just stop. Are you mechal? What if I am? Why are you making these men stand there? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. Sith is not a bantha, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Wow, these last two options. Then I demand you stop this at once. You demand. Why would I listen to you? I'll do as I please. And if watching these fools starve themselves amuses me, that's what I'll do. You should not toy with people's lives. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. He's a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Right. Well, I guess I'll tell them that he is lying to them. You you were talking to me Miko. I saw you. Where did he go? Did did he tell you I was worthy? Um to attack that guard. Jesus, that's 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 dark side. That would that'd be dark side, absolutely. He's tricking you. He'll never let you into the academy. What? I I've wasted all this time. How could I have been so foolish? I could have died! I'll find another way in. I swear it. I'll show him. Thank you. There we go. Leave, leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the academy. Just, just a few hours longer. Just a few hours, surely. You're wrong. Have you talked to Meckle? Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? He said that he's tricking you. He'll never let you into the academy. Oh. All this for nothing. Oh! He died anyway. Oh my dude. Leave, leave me be. And he won't even listen. Holy fuck, dude. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. I'm Darth Revan. I was Lord of the Sith. Let me in. I see. And who might your friends be? It's obvious you don't believe me, but I really am Darth Revan. On your way, citizen. 
Fuck you. Alright, fine. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to find another way in. Damn it. Ah, there's stuff over here. I didn't check. Repair kit. Cool. And nothing else. Well, away I go. Back into the stupid damn port. Alright. Welp. A Rodian pilots. You. Oh, hello there. Euthurban. Hi there. Is there something you need, Jedi? Oh. Make it good for I have little patience. Look at you. Look at you with all these designs. Kind of pretty, actually. Uh, so you know what I am. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all. Willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Are you Yathura Ban? I am. Obviously you have been told of me. Is it your desire then to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? Uh... Why would I want to join the Sith? <laughs> An interesting question and not one I hear often. For most, the benefits of becoming a Sith are quite obvious. Mm -hmm. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. A lot of the hopefuls here end up dead. That doesn't seem glorious. We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike, there is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. But you serve the dark side of the Force, don't you? It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. We shape it to our will. We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. But the dark side is evil. It corrupts. Corruption is a word the pitiful use to describe the natural longing for power that they deny. Evil is a word trumpeted by the weak to ease their heart. It is true that the Force exacts a physical toll on some, but not a single one of them has ever regretted it. Anything else you hear is propaganda. And where does Darth Malak fit into all this? You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard. Always lean for the kill. We promote it. For through this, the Sith are stronger. You kill each other. If a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare. Or turn tail and run. And I see about joining you. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Uh, yes, I want to join the Sith. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Oh? Obviously you are a Jedi. Mm -hmm. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. Mm -hmm. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? What difference does it make? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps. If I let you. Does that interest you? If you let me... Hmm. Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. Ah, oh, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. Uh -huh. I will take you to the Academy. Even though it was a flat-out lie. You shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I am not saying that. I am not saying that. No. 
I will say, don't worry about them, but I'm not calling them that. No. I... yes. Yes. We are only servants to the... the master. There's something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, okay. are you ready to go to the academy? Oh, I'm gonna have to apologize to Juhani so fucking much. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yes, yes I am. Then let us leave. The master of the academy awaits you. Okay. Sorry, Juhani, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I had to say it just to shut her the fuck up. I'm sorry. Greetings, prospective student. Jesus! It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. Indeed. Then perhaps you would care to demonstrate for us the powers of a Sith Master. No? Then perhaps you shall keep your foolishness to yourself and actually learn something. The Jedi How about fuck you? the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Mm. I don't know. An honest answer. You will make little progress, however, if you do not come to learn that any opportunity, even an unsure one, must be snatched. Now then, all mm. of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Oh boy. All right. Then, oh boy, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At the thought of that man still running free, I cannot stand still while I think about it. But, but I will not give in to the dark side either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us. Me, if we could find him first. That he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Fair enough. Oh, 
Dark Jedi Night Robe, Advanced Med Packs, Med Packs, and Credits. Well, I'll take those. All right. Well, we have now infiltrated the Sith Academy. Now to pretend like we're the best Sith in the fucking galaxy, I guess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. You know what? I'm going to stop here and explain a thing. Back in the day, back when Stray was just a wee little cub. I say wee, I was 20 at the time. <laughs> I would have considered myself more Sith. I now consider myself more of a gray. But this sort of shit is interesting to me. The morality behind what Star Wars and the Sith and the Jedi are. This sort of thing is interesting to me because it reflects in reality a little bit as well. But the deep moral conundrums involved is extremely interesting to me. And I found myself, when I was younger, more gravitated towards the Sith because the Sith rationalize that they are controlling the Force. They are masters of the Force and that they can bend the Force to their will and thus they are stronger. It took me a long time to realize that that is just what it is, a rationalization. It is not exactly fact that is not exactly how it works but this episode's already long enough i'm gonna get out of that and i will end the episode for right now thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see you all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and Going to join the Sith, even if it's technically not really joining them and just trying to infiltrate them to A, save Karth's kid, I guess, and B, get further in our quest of finding the Star Forge once and for all. And if we manage to take down the Sith uh, hierarchy structure within Korriban while we're doing it, so be it. For you.